welcome to Covey Woodworks. I'm Stuart Covey, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of a tool touch-off plate that I made for my CNC machine. I got this overall design from a guy on YouTube who's contacted me a couple times. His name is Sean. Be sure to check out his YouTube link below in the description and see his other videos and see his particular video on this tool touch-off plate that he made. Um, the reason I wanted to do another video on it was I made a couple of modifications to it. So I thought you guys, you guys would like to see what I did. Um, there are just a couple things that I think make it a little easier for me personally. Um, they may or may not work for you. So um, be sure to check out this video and see what he did, and then you can decide between the two. Or you can even come up with your own modification if you want. Um, this is a pretty simple touch-off plate. Um, it's still manual, it's not automatic, but it makes it much simpler changing bits instead of um, using the manual method of slowly bringing down the bit, using either a piece of paper or turning the bit to find out when it touches the wood. This makes it a lot easier, quicker. It's not as fast as an automatic tool sensor, but it's definitely faster than doing it manually. So it's kind of an in-between. Um, uh, it basically consists of a few simple parts. It's very easy to make. Um, it consists of a 4.5 volt power supply, um, a 150 ohm resistor, although that's not specific. Um, I got by with a 50 ohm resistor. And then um, it consists of an LED and some wire along with your brass or aluminum plate. Um, so it's very simple, easy to make, but it makes everything a lot easier between changing bits. All right, so first we're going to start with the power supply. This is my power supply, sort of made up. I've got a 12 volt transformer. I've got some 120 volts, normal 120 volts, 12 volts. And then from that to a cigarette lighter car plug um, transformer that goes from the 12 volts from the car battery to four and a half volts for some some sort of charger I found. So I just made this up from what I have in my shop. Goes from so um, all together it goes from 120 volts all the way down to the four and a half volts. And this way I can just have it plugged in. Um, Sean's was on battery, so in some cases that's good. But for me, having it plugged in worked better for me. All right, so we've got power cord running here, and we've got our positive and negative sides of the wire. Our positive side runs over here to my control cable here. That goes all the way over up here. Here's again. That runs underneath the table to my touch-off plate. So the positive goes directly to the touch-off plate. Um, <coughs> next, we go back over here. Got my negative side here. This runs up to the LEDs over here. But before the LEDs, I have it go to my resistor, um, a 50 ohm resistor. And then that goes to the negative side of the LED. You'll notice I have two LEDs. That's just that's just how I wanted it. There's no need for it. You can use one or as many as you want. Um, so then we have the other wire coming out the positive side of the LED. So from the front, got two LEDs there. Um, okay, so the side that comes out the positive side of the LEDs will continue. Back over here, that's going to go also to the control cable, just like the positive one. It's going to go over. You can see it comes up here, goes through my control um, wire cable, and then comes out right here and makes contact with the metal frame. I just attach it to one of the bolts there. So now that's making contact. So when that's plugged in, Basically, all we're doing is completing a circuit. So when I touch the plate to my bit, the lights will come on. There you got the lights. So that's how it works. I'm going to show you how I do it, how I bring the bit down to it, and everything. Um, So you notice on here, on my plate, I've got a little marking so I know 
um, the thickness of my brass plate. So when I touch off the Z, I know the offset that I need to offset from where the current bit is. Because when the bit's touching the plate, the real Z needs to be the thickness of the plate down to the wood. And this is how thick the plate is. So when I go up here and I click touch off, this is for um, Y, but just to show you, I would put the 0.124 or 124 thousandths of an inch in here. And then I'll click OK and it'll automatically offset it. So, um, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to bring my machine up. I have to go over the plate. I'm going to bring it down as close as I dare by hand. It's pretty close. So now I'm going to change the jog speed. down to about 6.6 .6 inches a minute. And now I'm going to bring it down until the LEDs light up. Let's go and take it down. It's almost there, so come back over here. Now I'm watching the LEDs. Bring them down just a few steps at a time. Oh, and now we have it on. So I'm going to take it up just one step, put it back down a step, make sure it's getting full contact. So I know that's where it's touching. So I'm going to go up here, to the Z, touch off. I'm going to put in 0 0.124, 124 thousandths of an inch, and click OK. Now I Z is set. So now I'm going to change my jog speed. Back up. Go over. Let's go ahead and put in the command to Z zero it. Let's go. And there we have a perfect Z zero. Now it's a ton easier than doing that by hand. So that's how it works. Pretty simple. Works really good. Um, I've been really happy with it with a few projects I've done with it so far. So um, be sure to check out Sean's video and see the other way he did it. And maybe you can do something between these or whatever you want. Um, let's just give you an idea, like I said before, an idea uh, what you can do. So thanks for watching. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really enjoy doing these video videos for you guys. So um, thank you for subscribing and thanks for watching.